Hey guys, and welcome to part 14 of Generations and Seasons. So, in the last part, they got the genie, they had a wish uh, for fortune, of course, and we're trying to get them enough money to buy the house, which they'll need like 216000 or something like that. And they had little Alex come into the world. So that's pretty exciting. Um, so he he's just getting up now. He's the first one up. And he's gonna pee and shower and just make breakfast for everybody. And she can actually get up too. And we'll have her wake up too, actually, so she can eat something. We'll, uh... Feet on the floor. Um, also, I installed Into the Future. I always had it, but didn't have it installed on this computer. Um, so now they have the Time Portal, which we can also sell for easy money. So, yeah, they can actually probably sell this too, because they don't have a car. Oh, that was zero dollars. Well, that's, that's great. Okay. Um, and this popped up about the imaginary friend for Alex. I don't know if we're going to get into the imaginary friend that much with him since Hannah is, you know, she's going to make sure that we're going to make sure that she brings it to life and maybe she'll marry it or I don't, even, I don't know how it's going to work, but so, uh, free the genie. No, we're going to trap the genie forever. <laughs> Actually, I do want to summon him now. Now that you mentioned it. Hello, pal. Wait, I want to make another. Oh, make another wish. Yes. Fortune. Shakafima Duni. Frunta Kumala. I think the genies are so cool. I love how she floats up and... Pretty cool. Ooh, 199,000, they're so close! <laughs> He's annoyed. She cries like an hour after she's hungry. Like, she has a very delayed reaction to things, but... Maybe she's dramatic like her mom, I don't know. But... We're gonna go have her pee and shower. And I actually think I'm going to have them go to the winter festival in this part since they didn't really get to go um, in the other part because she was pre I mean, they went, but she was pregnant. So they really couldn't do, like, much of anything. So, so yeah, we'll have her go uh, grab a plate of that. And then once he's done, he'll call a babysitter. Why is the baby crying? Oh, because he needs a diaper change. Alright, we'll, we'll change Alex. Go and put that away. Oh, babysitter. Put away the leftovers. Hoping this babysitter takes care of my kids. Who is this? Sharon Ocampo. Ocampo. Who is she? She's gorgeous. Oh my god. She is like so pretty. So pretty. She's dressed like a nanny from The Sims 2 and I think she's only a teenager, but she's gorgeous. If Alex was like a lot older. Um, she has it covered. She she really does. Oh, I thought it was him. What the heck? Change. No, oh, she's doing it. She's she's good. She's gonna be good. So let's go to the Winter Festival with Caitlin. Alright. You know everything takes so long to like load. Alright, he wants to get his face painted. She wants to buy the Bonehilda coffin. I, no, we're not. No. We'll do that with my Supernatural LP. Not this one. 
Okay, so what do you guys want to do first? Okay, he wants, I already showed you guys the festival in an earlier part. So I don't really have to do that again, I don't think. But uh, he wants to go get his face painted. So we'll for sure go get his face painted. We'll get some snowflakes on his face. And she wants to go ice skating, so we'll do that. We'll, um, what are you doing? He's walking across the ice and she's skating on her boots. Look how talented she is. What the heck, you guys are so strange. Just go get your face painted. like. I didn't know they walked on the ice like that. That is so weird. They could probably skate on the ice, but I think she can do more if she skates on the actual ice rink. With uh, somebody that's wearing summer clothes. Who is this? Candy! Oh my god, I want candy! That's her! Their old babysitter. <laughs> she was fired. Don't twirl with her. Tell me you're gonna twirl with Candy. Visa. Oh. Uh huh. I think yes. Caitlin really does want Candy. <laughs> oh. Ape. Oh my gosh! Just stop. Just stop. Oh my god, you're so strange. Did you get your face painted? He's like, no, get off my woman. Oh, they fell anyway. Are you okay? <laughs> He was having some issues. Oh, look at his face. It actually looks, I love the snowflake one. It looks really cool. So what can you do? We'll have you go, go have a snowball fight with uh, some random people. Are you skating or are you just gonna keep throwing with her for like ever? Like that's just weird. Really just stop. Just stop. <laughs> Candy can't really skate that well. <laughs> Is she taking care of my kids? Their kids. I need to stop calling them my kids. It's just weird. Okay. Stop. She keeps twirling with her. Candy! Get a boyfriend or something. Like what? Or you and a girlfriend, doesn't really matter. Just like, leave, leave Caitlyn alone. Just leave her alone. Leave Caitlyn alone. Oh my gosh. What the heck, you guys? What the heck? Just skate. Oh, I want her to be able to spin. Like, on her own. Not with Candy. She's now confident enough to do spins. Aha, uh -huh, well. That was kind of creepy. Oh, okay. Wait, wait. I want to take a picture because I'm a picture Nazi. <laughs> okay. He's having a snowball fight. Oh, God. Having a snowball fight with these people. What is that? Nugget. <laughs> the cat. <laughs> okay. I actually really want them to go snowboard. Let's have them go snowboard. Caitlin can skate backwards. Do it. Skate backwards. Why? 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 Tell me why. Why? People are creepy in this place. People are creepy up in here. Is he snowboarding? Yes. Oh my gosh. Take a picture. If his face will load. 
god, what is that? Okay. My god, I don't understand. Do a snowboard trick. You can't, you're not good enough. <laughs> Alright, you're- yeah, they're being really shady. Just get, go do something by yourself. Go buy food. I was gonna say he's really good, but that's not him. That's like a that's a girl. <laughs> Lisa Bunch, is it Lisa Bunch? Yes, it's Lisa Bunch, who we actually hung out with in the last part. So that's kind of cool, I guess. All right, are you getting? F oh yeah, clam chowder, as we call it where I'm from, clam chowder. Okay, hot wings, gingerbread cookie, all oh, eggnog. Okay, we're gonna get a gingerbread cookie, and we're gonna have him go redeem some festival tickets and see what they can get. Fifty-one. Now they have sixty-six. Um, you're in my way there, Fiona. A Fiona. Here we go. Okay. Oh, if they could get a face painting booth, that would be so cool. I'm doing it. <laughs> face painting booth. Awesome. All right, and then we're going to go home, actually. And, um... Yeah. Check on the kids and stuff. Make sure the kids are okay. Alright. Their paper mache tree is just gorgeous. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh my god, where's the baby? In her room. Oh my god, okay. Go snuggle him and play with him and... God, he needs like everything. Give him a bottle. Leave him alone. Just, just leave him alone. Just leave him alone. Go. Is there not a child there? Like, what am I clicking? Sims 3, what am I clicking? Here we go. Change your diaper and feed her on the floor. And uh, I really want them to kiss under the mistletoe. I just really want to see this. I don't think I've ever done this before. Oh. They, they're not even kissed. They didn't even kiss. Did you see that? What the heck? Oh my god. Oh, but somebody's making out on TV. Looks like The Sims 2. Somebody's making out. What was the genie watching? That pervert genie is watching porn in my house. No, okay, that's a little far. But seriously. You can just ban this group. Like... They're all like ready and willing to change this kid's diaper. Pick up Hannah. It's easy enough. Alright, we're gonna have him go put her to bed. Morgana Wolf wants to know if Matthew would like to go on a date. Sorry if you're not happy in your marriage, but he's happy in his, so just leave him be. Just let him be. Let him be. Okay. Oh, what's this? Kissed under the mistletoe. Let's be honest. Whoever came up with the this plant means you kiss me tradition was a genius. Matthew just enjoyed the benefits of this remarkable shrub. Well, neato. Okay. 
Alright, so they're going to go to bed now. And I'll pick up with you guys in the morning. Okay guys, so everybody is waking up right now. And Snowflake Day has arrived. And share a friendly gesture with your neighbors, friends, or even to a stranger at the Winter Festival. Today is the day to spread some holiday bliss. And due to a terrible fiscal year, Matthew did not receive a holiday bonus. Which sucks because he might have been able to afford the house. Who knows? Who knows? But go give your child some attention. And uh, we'll see if we can uh, summon the genie once more here in a little bit. And if we do, we'll be able to move into the house through a gift giving party at their new house. And uh, it would be awesome. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll have her eat something first. I'm trying to remember what time I made the wish the last time. I can't remember. Probably like 10-ish or so. I don't know. We'll see. Um, feed her on the floor. And then, I don't think her phone is really important, but whatever. Okay. So beautiful. I love the snow. I love it so much. So much. Alright, let's have her summon the genie one more time. One more time. What the heck? This happens sometimes where like the genie will look invisible and I don't understand it and it really makes me mad. You have to do it like five times to get it to work again and I don't I don't understand. But whatever. No, he's got he's got him taken care of, okay? Summon the genie. Do it right this time. Thank you. Make final wish. Yes, you guys, this is it. This is it. This is it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm happy. I've sung so many songs in this part. Like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> I'm just really happy. Ah, I'm excited. <gasps> oh my god. You have used your last wish and the lamp has gone to seek another owner. So is it gone? Yep. Oh my gosh, they can go by the house. Oh my god, I'm gonna go place the house in the neighborhood and get back to you guys and show you guys the new house. I'm so excited. And yeah, she is literally just as excited as I am about this new house, you guys. Really. This is just me. This is me right now. <laughs> All right, so they're going to move. Let's uh, real estate move within this neighborhood. Oh my gosh, this is it. I'm so happy. Okay, let's see. Obviously, Matthew and Hannah and Alex. Yes, they are the Logan family. Thank God. Um, we'll pack our furniture, I guess. And house. Where is it? The Logan family estate. Here it is is I'm so happy <laughs> so happy here we go yes they have a lot of money actually <laughs> left over from that and I mean it wasn't really cheating because genies are a part of the game so it is what it is apparently they were invited to a party a feast party I'm sorry, but we're moving to a new house and we're going to throw ourselves a gift giving party at the new house. Oh my gosh, she wants to do like all this stuff here. Oh, grab both the kids. Oh my gosh. This is such a moment. <laughs> ah. Okay. Here we are, you guys. Oh my gosh. I'm literally just so excited right now. Okay. I'll show you guys the house before I end this part. 
Okay. So, okay. So this is the basic, just there, you can't really see it that well because there's snow everywhere, but there's a little fountain area right here. It's kind of frozen over, I think, but I don't know. So it's a little fountain area and there's a little walkway over here leading over to the garage, which is just your typical two car garage. Nothing super fancy. And yeah, I'll go ahead and show you guys the inside. Okay, so they walk in here and this is just like a little entryway. And for those of you that don't know, I'm gonna have to get them a hamper for this room, but for those of you that don't know, um, on Twitter, I think I talked about it a while ago that I based this house loosely off of the house I grew up in as a kid like obviously it wasn't this fancy like it didn't have all this modern stuff but the build of it like the way the rooms are set up and stuff is kind of like house I grew up in and all that so and the double stairs and stuff but yeah so this is the entryway and this is the living room and pretty much anything that it's custom content is the from some credible designs so yeah I I really like it so over here is just like a little seating area and then there's a bunch of stuff for the kids and then the TV over here computer and stereo and a fireplace which I love which is incredible designs and then there's the kitchen slash dining room area and this is like a little island counter they have the um, deep fryer and the teppanyaki grill and the little bakery station all from the Sims 3 store and that's where their laundry is and then there's a little bathroom over here and um, with all these modern appliances and all this stuff, which is also from the Sims 3 store. And then over here is the master bedroom and pretty much everything in here is from, um, master suite stuff. Okay. And then this is the master bathroom. And I just, I love it. I love it. I love it so much, so much. <laughs> so that's the whole like downstairs and then upstairs. It's just your typical hallway matches the downstairs hallway. And there's a room here, 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 and here. And there's a girl's bathroom right here. Girl's bathroom and just a boy's bathroom. I never know what to do with the boys bathrooms because they're just so basic. I don't know, but so that's that and that's it for the inside, but then I'll show you guys like the outside. So this is like the back patio and they have all the outdoor grilling and all the stuff pretty much from outdoor living stuff and a table here with a little umbrella and then pretty much a picnic table, a fire pit, pretty much everything from generations and seasons with the slip and slide and a swing and one of these little ride thingies, a sandbox that you can barely see because it's snowy <laughs> and a hot tub and a pool. Yes, this is their pool and they have everything pretty much from Island Paradise in it. So they have a slide, a diving board, a little pool bar even, and this little waterfall. So yeah, that's the basics of this house. I'm really excited about it. Like it's not that great, I guess, compared to what some people can build, you know, but I'm really happy with it because I, I'm really happy with it because I'm not a builder. So yeah, I hope you guys liked it. And I'm probably going to end this part here actually because it's a good place to end it. And in the next part, we will have them throw a gift giving party for Snowflake Day. Slash, it's going to be kind of like a housewarming party too, I guess. And, um, and Hannah and Alex will probably grow up in the next part as well. They'll probably, um, 
have their birthdays. So that should be exciting. So yeah, if you like this part, go ahead, like it, comment, subscribe, and thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye.